This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, that's part of the fun. I mean, most of the fun. Uh, on July 9th, there's local TV in Oakland, and they start airing promos for the Bass Show that's coming up on August 6th. And we're trying to get the hype out early, you know, sell these tickets in advance. And they show this promo with you and Barry in front of a chain link fence. It's phenomenal. Again, this didn't air nationally. It was on localized TV. We're going to post it over at the Orange Show. You got to see this. But here's the audio. It's a minute and a half. Let's take a listen. You know, in Oakland, California, the people there love the bad guys. <laughs> and that's exactly what we are. When we step into the war games, everyone expects us to be the dirty deed doers. And I'll tell you what, that's exactly the way it is. The four horsemen are not known for being a bunch of panty waists. When they step into the ring, they kick tail. Now, Lex Luger, Dusty Rhodes, the Road Warriors, and Paul Ellering are not used to that. Now, they get out here and they flex and they say that they're gonna win and that they're gonna destroy the four horsemen. But you know, nine times out of 10, they don't hold up their end of the bargain. The horsemen are in there to do one thing, and that is to win. And that's the reason that I am with the horsemen. You know, I used to sit over there in the other dressing room, and I'd get butterflies when I had to face the horsemen. But now that I'm one of them, no more butterflies, pallies. Greatest physiques in all the sports are all on their team. But the bottom line is we love Alzado. We love Bo Jackson. I'm a fruitcake for Snake Stabler. We've always liked the dirtiest players of the game. I've got Jack Tatum's picture all over my wall. You know, I'm kind of like Stabler, you know. You love Stabler. But what we're telling you, Oakland, when we come to town, the dirtiest players of the game are going to take the war games as the biggest challenge of our life. We got butterflies. We're going to overcome them because we're hurting somebody in Oakland. Man, how great is that? Think we were baby faces that night? I mean, my goodness. Listen to you. Who don't love the, the Raiders, for God's sakes? I'm talking about the old school Raiders. Right. Jack Tatum, assassin. That's good stuff, man. I loved it. It, it aired uh, locally on uh, July 9th, 1988. Go look at this. It, it's it's kind of silly, kind of hokey, but kind of awesome. What do you think about doing a promo behind the chain link fence? You calling hokey well i'm just saying these days i mean i loved it as a kid and i used to say the first time i saw that was probably like i don't know macho man and queen cherry or something maybe the next year but they were just going bananas behind that steel cage and it just made me laugh <laughs> uh now as an adult to go back and watch it but i just think about that means somewhere you guys had a couple of guys on the side holding up a panel of a chain link fence. <laughs> it, the, the, the reality of what it looks like behind the scenes and what it looks like on the camera are probably two totally different things. And it was a it was come on face and it was a little bit tongue in cheek. That was the whole point. Yeah. But you know you had to at some point you had to pull it back in and reel it in and go, hey, you know, somebody gonna get hurt in this cage, but you could make it fun prior to that. And, and it got your attention, by the way, if you're just casually watching and then you see the cage, I mean, that's really part of the draw. Part of the attraction, right? Is the cage. Yeah. Because you, you could barely see through it. And that right. was, you know, it was not great quality work. <laughs> it was supposed to be grainy and look funky and look a little bit hokey and, and it did. And, but it, you know, what, if you were just, if you didn't have the show on, you were flipping channels, you went, what the hell is that? And it would freeze you. Nobody was flipping channels on those deals. No, they were not. No, they were not. Go check it out at the Arn Show. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.